Scientists say the worst coal bleaching in more than 15 years has hit Lizard Island in far north Queensland, prompting fears for other parts of the Great Barrier Reef. There is no sign of recovery ahead as the hot, clear conditions drag on. Stephanie Smale reports. Lizard Island's vibrant reef stripped of colour. Scientist Lyle Vale hasn't seen the watery paradise like this for more than a decade. He's worried the situation will keep deteriorating. We've sort of got the perfect storm conditions for coral bleaching. At the moment we've got brilliant, clear, sunny skies, calm conditions. A lot of that hot water on top of the reef flat is just staying there and it's basically cooking the coral. Large sections of the island's reef flat are bleached, a clear sign it's stressed, and there's evidence these corals aren't the only ones at risk. If this is occurring on Lizard Island, then we do have real fears for other parts of the Great Barrier Reef further north. Over summer, sea surface temperatures spiked up to two and a half degrees above average in some parts of the marine park, and more hot weather is on the way. Right through March in particular, uh, especially in the north, the, you know, the north of the state, even in April. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority says so far this bleaching pales in comparison to what's happening across the Pacific as the El Nino event drags on. But they'll be keeping a close eye on the issue. The big concern right now is we've already got minor bleaching. It's going to be a hot month in March and the bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef could be worse by the end of March. Lyle Vale will be watching too, monitoring the potential impact of a global bleaching event at home. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.